Hey guys, and I welcome you to one of my videos again. I decided to do one more video tonight before I go to bed. It's basically 12 o'clock at night. But let me go ahead and explain this video. In this video, I'm going to do, and this video and a few segments after, I'm going to do a sort of application overview. I'll do one application per video because I don't, don't want to make it too long and I want to make it descriptive. Uh, but I'm going to do one application per area. It's going to be called, uh, I'm guessing, top application, something like that, to sort of a ring like it. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be looking over the docky application. You've probably seen this in other videos that I have. And you're wondering, you know, how can I get it? What does it do? Why is it any different than any other dock application? So let's go ahead and get into the information. So, as a clear idea, let's go ahead and, um, hot, you can see there's a the name, docky. Uh, Right-click on the little anchor and go to settings. This gives you a little settings dialog, and you can do a few things here, and I'll show you what you can do. Uh, you can have multiple desk or docklets or docks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, one, I have one on the left. A lot of people like to customize and uh, organize everything, and when you have one dock, it just is way too much to uh, have all these icons on. But on the left for here, I have my uh, bookmarks for my folders, my computer, and down here, recent documents, top is open office. This is my work area, basically. The bottom is just a few applications that I use from time to time or often uh, with the dock icon on the very left. And then I have time, uh, CPU monitor, and other widgets like that. But you look at it and you say, okay, what's the difference between Docky and OS X Doc, the Apple Doc? Well, basically, you can have multiple docks, that's one. You can customize them. There are a limited, limited amount of uh, themes, but with time they will grow. But you can't customize it, that's the big thing. Um, the Mac OS X, the Apple Doc, doesn't really customize that much. You can make it bigger icons or smaller icons, and you can make it stop, like, um, zooming in when you go over icons, but that's about it. You can actually change the way it looks, which is kind of boring and kind of beats the purpose of customization. But uh, you can have as many docks as you want, or basically four, one for each uh, side of the screen. You can drag one dock to the side, to the top, move them around the way you want. Uh, if I highlight one dock, say the bottom one, I get a few, if, a few settings for that one dock. Not every single one, but that exact one. You can see it's kind of highlighted here too. Uh, Intel height is pretty cool. If I get a window uh, to go over it, I'll give you an example. Let's say uh, I open this control center, and you can see the how dock hides automatically. Now, if I move the window up, there's enough space for it to come out. But if I move it back down, and the space gets smaller, and the dock decides to go underneath, so you can have more room to see. And that's basically how the Intel hide works. I have other ones like this one has the auto hide, which basically hides anytime, um, all the time, unless you go to the very left of the screen to actually uh, initiate it to come out. Uh, you can have, of course, zooming. I don't have it enabled because I mean it's okay for some time, but it's just kind of annoying after some time. You can have zooming, of course, and I'll show you just you know to so you know. There's the zoom. Um, it has let's see. <clears throat> you can have the icon size, you can have the amount of zoom, panel mode, basically covers up the whole bottom like a panel. And over time, I believe, I mean, it's amazing, but I think Docky will replace your top, uh, will be able to replace your top dock because there's a lot of little applications that are coming out. You can already handle the applications, it already has a time and date. It's developing an application menu, and hopefully one day when it develops the system tray and the window switching, I'm going to be done. I'm not going to be using this bar up here because the docky is a lot smoother but for now just use it as a dock like this uh, you can manage multiple windows or window launchers indicate multiple windows and so on uh, that's basically it for this section here you can fade on hide or you can um, let me see that's not hiding you can fade on hide or you can kind of slide on hide that's what the idea is yeah I do a fade for the fade you can see how it fades in and out instead of uh, sliding t to the side of the screen but I like my slide kind of gives me indication that it's hiding rather than faded away you know uh, what else can you do you have docklets you have little widgets basically on your dock uh, this is what I have on this one dock my network manager trash mon uh, mounter gmail and stuff like that uh, a lot of docks are being developed actually a lot of them I've seen plenty of them come out basically daily uh, and this one I have my bookmarks my recent documents and I have a few other ones that I really don't need uh, next we have helpers, these are little controls for, let's say if you have, uh, where's my rhythm box controls? If I, let's say, run rhythm box, if I right click on, oops, let me turn on. if I right click on rhythm box, mm, that's not what it is. I think I have to enable it first, let me do that again. Uh, if I go to helpers, rhythm box, oh, it's already enabled. 
Okay. Well, now if I right click, I have the ability to play next, next play in previous. Uh, basically, control a media player from right here, and when my media player does play, um, it'll give you a, uh, I believe, a little. Uh, what is it? The cover art for that for that song. Well, okay, it doesn't give you the cover art. It used to. I don't know what happened. I guess it's a bit of a beta. But it gives you a little timer for how long your song is. And that's pretty cool, I think. A pretty cool indicator. That shows you how you can integrate all of these little icons to do something specific just by, you know, the little helpers. But basically, that's it. Nothing too complicated about this application. Uh, you can get this application. Uh, you can get this uh, either through a PPA online, which I will show you, I believe. Hold on a sec. Alright, so basically, it's a little difficult to install Docky. It's not completely in um, our software center yet but it is coming to the software center in uh, the next version of Ubuntu which is 10.04 and you can just simply search it in the software center and you install it. Uh, the way I install it on 9.10 and the other versions I download this little application called Ubuntu Tweak I go here to ubuntutweak.com uh, download it from here, it's just a dev package uh, install it like usual and when you first get it go into your system tools I'll be reviewing this application too, it's a really good application uh, but I'll just go into the Ubuntu Tweak for now we'll do something simple from here we can enable the PPA for Docky. Go to your source center, unlock it. When we unlock it, we are have the ability to look for uh, applications here. Go ahead and find Docky. It's gotta be somewhere here. Come on, Docky. Okay, there we go. Once you find Docky, just click on the little mark, do the refresh, then go to application center find Docky again and just check this and click apply and that's done and you install it but of course this is just an 10 and before if you already have 10.04 beta go ahead and use the software center if you have 10.04 released already this is for future uh, releases when it co really comes out then you can just simply just install it through the center and that's it uh, that's how you install it that's how you work with it and that's basically it it's a very useful application uh, I mean, for now, it's not as, I mean, I think it has a lot of potential. Over time, it'll be an amazing application. But, I mean, why would I use this dock over other docks? It's very light. Actually, it's one of the lightest docks. I've never had it crash on me or go away for some random reason. Uh, it's always there for me. It's like I depend on it or something, but it's always there for me. Very light. Uh, requires minimum composition, so you can even just use the MetaCity uh, composition to enable that, and you can run the two. And that's basically it. It's very light, has a lot of useful uh, widgets on it, and it's just pretty, I think. It's very professional looking. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and I'll be back with some more applications.